We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Boom! Headshot! Hey, it's Clay. How's everybody doing? And I wanted to do a kind of reflection slash review on the multiplayer in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You know, this game is undoubtedly one of the biggest releases of the year, and, you know, I went ahead and bought it. I'm playing on PC, and that kind of is a really big part of my thoughts here. Um... But, you know, I kind of wanted to, it's been a couple of weeks now, it's here, it's the 21st, so I think it's been about eight days or so, if my math is correct. Um, and you know what, it's, there There was kind of a, a gold rush, you know, I, I feel like some of the guys who put out a ton of videos, you just make bank, um, because there's so much hype surrounding this game, there's so many people that are interested in hearing some of the videos and seeing the content about this game. Um, but what I, I, I purposely held off, on making this commentary because I knew that the game would evolve and change it during release week the way that the game plays is going to be radically different than the way that the game plays a month down the line two months down the line you know in, in ways that we still haven't even seen it's only been you know about a week and a half I mean it's crazy but you know at this point people are starting to prestige people are starting to get more of a feel for all the perks all the kill streaks or score streaks excuse me um, and I feel like at this point I can kind of give a full-on review. Um, I still have not actually gotten to a level to prestige yet, but um, I have been playing quite a bit. I've tried a lot of the new game modes, a lot of the new course score streaks, and I kind of wanted to give my thoughts and reviews. Now, you know, to repeat a lot of what has been said already, the Pick 10 system is really cool. I think it's one of the best innovations about this game. Um, you know, I've got five different class setups, and a couple of them are fairly similar, but most of them are radically different. And you know, the ability to really customize and tailor your setup to your playstyle is really cool. Um, you know, Call of Duty has always been about customization. I know that the big thing that it had over Halo when uh, Modern Warfare, the original, you know, really blew up was that you can actually customize your soldier and your fighting style. You can actually, you know, do things differently. You don't have to, you know, be such a great player and find all the power weapons. You can actually, you know, have those to start with, um, which I thought was cool. It's it definitely a really cool concept, but, you know, the Pick 10 system takes it to a whole nother level, and it, it definitely is fun. I like the Pick 10 system quite a bit, so it definitely gets a big thumbs up there. Um, and a lot of the other... Uh, negatives that you've been you might have heard about on if you ever watch a lot of other YouTube videos specifically the lag compensation you don't actually have to deal with that on PC which is a huge bonus um, because we play on dedicated servers um, and when I say dedicated servers they're kind of like pseudo dedicated um, it's not like traditional dedicated servers that PC players are used to you know think back to like something like Counter Strike Source where you've got like an actual server browser and then you have a mix of you know you might have some public owned servers by you know the vel developer but then you also have some privately rented servers where they set custom rules you know you know and especially in a game like CS where you have a lot of like modded rules where you know maybe the certain weapons would be limited certain you know almost every statistic in the game could be affected in some way to really tailor the playing experience to what the server moderators wanted it to be uh, we don't have that. In Black Ops 2, you actually go through a matchmaking, but then you get plugged into a dedicated server. So, in that regard, it's not a huge plus, but I think it works for Black Ops 2 just because, you know, it's not a hardcore traditional PC game in the, in that regard. It's definitely um, a console game at heart, so it kind of works to have matchmaking in it. That isn't actually a huge gripe, but I will say that it is awesome to have dedicated servers because we don't have to deal with lag compensation. Um, you know, the frame rate is uncapped. I'm running, you know, between 80 and 110 frames pretty regularly here, and I'm running on fairly high graphics settings. You know, just not, even have it, not having to deal with, you know, being capped at 60 frames, not having to deal with lag compensation. Those are huge pluses in my mind. Um, you know, think about competitive, fast-paced FPS play. Having extremely high frame rates is a huge deal. You know, I know Counter-Strike guys who used to you know, they used to go for upwards of a thousand frames per second. And, you know, I know that the law of diminishing returns kind of comes in at that point. But, you know, having such high frames per second, there's no way that you can say that going from 60 to 100 frames, that's not in no way a bad thing. Um, that's definitely a very, very good thing. So, you know, I feel like playing on PC is probably the ideal platform to play on just because you don't have to deal with lag compensation. I know people... Um, on the consoles have been really ticked off about the way that the lag compensation and the uh, 
hit registration has been occurring in this game. And so not having to deal with that is just a huge bonus in my mind. Um, you know, to speak a little bit more, I guess, candidly about the game as a whole, it really comes down to one simple thing. Um, <laughs> what, you know, they changed the pick 10 system, but at its fundamental level, this is still a Call of Duty game. The guns don't have a lot of recoil. The maps are very small. There aren't a lot of, you know, traffic patterns. The the traffic flow is extremely chaotic. You know, you get shot in the back all the time. I mean, there's just not a lot of depth. And I think that that is probably my core complaint in the game. Because, you know, for the first week, I actually was having a lot of fun playing this game. It was really cool getting to learn the, you know, the Pig 10 system. It's cool to play some of these game types. You know, especially coming from something like Planet Side 2 or Battlefield 3, I mean, there's always action. You never have to run around the map to find somebody. There's always somebody to shoot at. So in that regard, it definitely, you know, has some pros to it. It has some component to it that is good, that there's always instant action. But, you know, now that I've been playing the game for about a week and a half... That experience doesn't change, it doesn't grow, it doesn't become any more or less. There's just no depth to the game. It is what it is on face value, and you either like it or you don't like it for what it is. Um, it's shallow, it's easily accessible, it's noob-friendly. I mean, there's little recoil, the guns handle in a very generic way. You pretty much just put on an SMG, you put on a laser sight, and you just kind of hip-fire. Um, and you just kind of spray and pray. That's really the name of the game. Whereas you contrast that with something like Battlefield 3, where you have, you know, very advanced recoil control tactics, you know, that, that you have to move the mouse in a very controlled way. You, the way that the, the player handled around the map, the way that the guns handled was very advanced. Your attachment selection was very important uh, to the way that your gun played. Whereas, you know, like I said before, in Black Ops 2, it's just much more basic. It's much more... Um, simplistic if that makes sense and I feel like that is my core complaint with this game there's just not a lot of depth to it you you run around like a chicken with your head cut off and you shoot stuff uh, that's pretty much it now I know that they have implemented a lot of you know high-end MLG you know type of settings with the ability to stream the ability to upload clips very easily the ability to go to theater mode all those things uh, you know, definitely are aimed at kind of drawing in that competitive crowd, but personally, I just don't see it. I just don't see it happening because, you know, without a pretty significant rules, you know, limitations, it's just not going to happen. It's just, I mean, the gameplay is so straightforward. I don't see how there can be high-level strategy and tactics. I just, I mean, it is... It's such a... It's Call of Duty. I mean, it is exactly what it, what we all know it to be. And the formula has not changed very much. Um, like I said before, you run around and you shoot stuff. And I know that some guys go beast and, you know, get, put up some really big high scores. And it definitely is possible. Uh, but it's much more, it seems like it's dependent on your reaction, your twitch. Um, you know, and, and I feel like in some ways that... That could be a good thing, you know, because I know like some of the old Quake games were very Twitch dependent and had an extremely high skill ceiling, you know, especially with those one-shot, one-kill weapons. But in this game, it just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't have the skill ceiling in the same way. Um, so overall, I like the game, but it's not going to capture the special place in my heart just because it is so straightforward. It's so basic that... I don't see how I could ever get to a point where I'm like, wow, this game is amazing and it blows my mind. Um, you know, and I, and I realize that fundamentally I am not the target audience here. I'm not in high school. I'm not younger. I'm not, you know, and in some ways I have, I have limited time, so I don't have, you know, as much time to maybe put into these high strategy games as I would like. But I am not the target audience. I'm not looking for a game that is a cheap thrill. I'm looking for something that offers me a little bit more. And in that regard, this game... It just doesn't really stack up. So overall, it's good, but I don't think it's ever going to be amazing. It's definitely Call of Duty. Um, but you know what? I, I got sucked in, and I bought another year's iteration. I do feel like playing on PC is probably the best experience you can have, but it's still, uh, it is still Call of Duty. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to hear if you guys have the game or your thoughts on it so far, and I will see you soon.